years of research and development, artificial intelligence is now part of the mainstream conversation. In the coming years, we're gonna see businesses begin to adapt and utilize artificial intelligence in ways they never could have imagined. And one of the companies helping them do that is Blend360. Founded in 2016, Blend360 was created in order to work with businesses to tap into their full potential using AI. Today we're gonna to be speaking with President of Solutions and Service Lines for Blend360, Oz Dogan, to talk about how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the world of business. My name's Jesse Irwin, and this is A Moment With. Oz, tell me about Blend360. Where does the name Blend even come from? Well, the, uh, we were inspired by this Forrester Research article that we read uh, that basically said that the best business outcomes are achieved when internal teams blend together with external teams from their uh, service providers to create the best outcomes. And um, that's how we came up with the, uh, with the name. It's catchy. I like it. I like it. So tell me about the story of Blend. How did Blend come to be? We uh, started back in 2016. Uh, Patrick, Tim, and I have a long-standing partnership now for uh, almost 20 years. And in our prior company, we love data analytics technology. We love doing great work for clients. Uh, the use cases were just limited to marketing. And we wanted to build a new company that really can have an enterprise-wide impact uh, for our clients. Awesome. All right, I'm following you. Where are we going? Yeah, come, come with me. Let's go outside. All right, let's do it. Oz, tell me about your leadership style. I believe in authentic uh, leadership style. I believe in transparency. Um, really believe in the strength of the team and people and hiring and developing uh, the, the best people. So those are some of the, the big things that are, that are important to me. And, and also believe in um, doing great work for, uh, for our customers and clients. Does your team deploy a, a culture that you've really tried to set, you know, in terms of not just their interaction with one another, but also your team's interactions with those clients. Right. Yeah, I mean, we, we certainly um, uh, emphasize some core values uh, with, with our employees and with our team. So that's uh, potential, realizing potential and competition is, is one of our values. And it's about embracing competition, right? And even as we think about ourselves in the marketplace, we want to be the premier AI service provider. We want to be known as the uh, as the best, and uh, and then camaraderie, right? So we I love working with great people. I'm very passionate about hiring the best people and seeing them develop. Really enjoying the journey that we're on. Uh, the other thing around sort of our culture is our uh, ethos, cultural ethos, and um, those three elements are: the client is the hero uh, of the story. The the second one is um, a grow or die. Uh, I know it, it sort of sounds a little harsh, but sort of very growth company and, and, and that's sort of what we believe in. That's really important to us. That's in our, in our DNA. Uh, and then the third um, element there is the um, people are every, everything. So how do you keep that camaraderie as you're bringing in the best people from around the world and continue to grow without dying? A part of it is really us setting the context as leaders around the importance of those values. Uh, and then, and then the, the other part of it is also making sure we hire the right people, we, are, we hire the right leaders that really embrace those values and, and really bring it to life. When it comes to AI being such a part of the mainstream conversation now, how does Blend think about artificial intelligence? A AI sort of brings some really powerful tools to uh, solve um, business challenges that have been around for a long time. So in a way, the business challenges are the same challenges, uh, but AI sort of uh, brings sort of new tools, new generation tools uh, to, to the table. The way we think about it is that uh, we've always uh, been a company about data science, data engineering, business intelligence, which are really the core uh, skills to make AI work. In, in some ways, we actually call ourselves the, um, the carpenters and plumbers of AI. And, uh, and, and, and a big reason for that is, you know, what we see in the marketplace, a lot of people talk about it, talk yeah. about AI in a very conceptual and theoretical way. And as Blend, we actually make AI work. We make it real for our clients. So that data that you're working with, I mean, you're deploying it not just in terms of helping to break it down, analyze it, and understand, you know, what, what's brought you to where you are, but also building out these, these models and building out these, these ways to utilize AI using that information, which has to be 
incredibly huge for clients, especially clients who have been with you since before you started really deploying AI in that sense, right? That's right. Because the, the big part of that, that the AI, even as we think about making AI work, it, it sort of comes back to data, right? And it comes back to uh, understanding the data, organizing the data, being able to access to data. And, and you're right, Jesse, we've been helping our clients for many years now around their data needs and analytics needs and, and so forth. And what we've seen kind of happen though over the last couple of years is now we're able to actually leverage um, you know, more forms of data. Uh, we're able to use unstructured data in addition to structured data, um, you know, coming from customer reviews and you know, customer operations and sales operations. And with the new techniques around generative AI, we're able to uh, pro, um, produce sort of new innovative uh, solutions that were maybe not possible three, four years ago. As far as that FAQ on the client side, I mean, what are those frequently asked questions, requests? What, what do you find you're, you're getting a call about or an email yeah. about every week? The first part is really the art of the possible, which uh, sort of goes into understanding the available data, understanding the challenges, and then defining use cases. And, uh, and also prioritizing the use cases. The next phase would be mobilizing those use cases in the form of pilots or proof of concepts and, um, and then testing them uh, in real life situations. And then based on the learnings, then really uh, take it to the marketplace in a big way and turning, turning it into a productionalized solution for, uh, for our, our clients. So those are sort of the, the use cases. And the way we think about blend across those phases is um, our ability to guide our clients and, um, and have them sort of accelerate their efforts um, in the form of um, you know, leveraging our expertise as well as leveraging our talent. What are the conversations that you have to have with your clients and with your team around the, the ethical dialogue when it comes to AI. I'm sure there's a lot of conversations around making sure that you're able to stay as consistent as possible with the way you're navigating that. I mean, yeah. I have to imagine that's a big yeah. conversation. Yeah, it is a big conversation. And we do work with a lot of Fortune, you know, 500 leading brands in the world. And it's top of mind for all our, all our clients. And it really takes um, shape in a couple different ways. Uh, one is really um, in terms of data, right? So are we using the right data? Do we have permission to use that data right. to train some of these uh, large language models, generative models, as well as other AI models? Uh, but there are also areas like, you know, ensuring that there is no algorithmic bias, meaning right. we haven't really trained these models on a sample that was biased at the first place. As part of our journey and as part of our expertise, we're helping our, our, our clients navigate some of these complex kind of challenges and uh, be their guide. The, the other piece around AI is, is like it's this whole landscape is changing, evolving so fast, so rapidly. The speed to market is, is, is a differentiator for a lot of the clients that we work with. Some of it is also us helping our clients move faster. Some of it is them understanding and, and navigating the landscape and making sure that they're kind of doing the right things to capitalize on the opportunities that AI brings to them, but some of it is just being able to go fast. So if you're that tour guide for your clients and you're helping your clients understand the world of AI, what kind of work are you doing and, and what does Blend do to stay at the forefront of those AI conversations? Being at the forefront of AI requires a lot of innovation and a lot of uh, a focus on, on innovation. So uh, we spend significant amount of our uh, senior management time and, and their team's time uh, driving sort of new innovative uh, innovative solutions. We invest 40 to 50 percent of our profits every year in developing new capabilities and new innovative solutions. So there are many things that we do across plant, but one of the things that we have is centers of excellence that we formed. These are uh, cross-functional, cross-capability, uh, um, you know, cross-regional teams that work on creating new uh, innovative solutions like computer vision, generative AI, uh, large language models. Those are some of the areas that we are currently focused on. And I personally chair uh, one of those COEs myself that is focused on generative AI. And there's been a lot of good traction that we, we got because of that. Oz, what excites you about AI? And what excites the blend team around AI heading into the future? 
Yeah, it's really about solving complex problems and 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 kind of big problems that the clients our clients have, and also uh, creating value and creating a meaningful impact. And for one of our uh, vertical farming clients in, in EMEA, we built a solution that allows them to actually detect unhealthy uh, crops and plants, and that really increases the productivity of the of the farm. Uh, for another client, we built. Um, a price optimization system that allows them to, you know, set the right prices across thousands of different drugs, across millions of customers that generated $100 million plus uh, profit impact, uh, annual impact on their on their business. Um, another example is uh, from one of our ad, uh, advertising technology companies, we built a solution that enables them to make 3 million bidding decisions per second. So these are just some of the many examples of the ways that you're not just innovating and working with your clients to drive things forward. But I mean, understandably, it sounds like you're really excited about it. Yeah, it's certainly an exciting time. And in a way, we, we feel that the world is sort of coming to us and because we've been always in this data analytics technology space and we always loved uh, the data science, data engineering and what it can do for businesses. and. Now with, with AI, it's coming to the forefront and it's an exciting time for Blend. Data is taking the throne that it has always been wanting to take. That's right. It's very, very cool. Oz, thank you for taking the time to spend a moment with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jesse.